the sustainability with environmental sciences specialization kind of brings together sort of the disciplines of ecology and environmental biology with earth sciences and engineering and others to enable students to grapple with the environmental aspects of the, of the sustainability puzzle. This is a pretty unique program, actually. There is nowhere else in this country that you can do such depth across those three broad areas of economy, society, and environment. The reason why I chose is sustainability, first of all, is because um, I, I wanted to help out, either big or small, and I found that uh, climate change was one of the biggest problems and one of the biggest ways I could make an impact. I love my class. Everyone's inc incredibly nice. I love everything I do. I'm doing geology, chemistry and ecology at the moment. Sustainability is interdisciplinary, so I get to pick modules from a very wide variety that other science students wouldn't be able to do. I get to meet other students from different uh, modules as well, so it's quite nice and varied. So the course is delivered in all sorts of different ways depending on which modules you choose basically. Students entering the sustainability program all undertake a common first year and that first year kind of gives the grounding in the core disciplines that will feature throughout the rest of the program. And then, you know, during that year, the students are getting an opportunity to get a sense of which area they're most interested in. And, and at the end of that year, they choose between um, sustainability with environmental sciences, sustainability with social sciences, policy and law, and sustainability with business and economics. And we actually have quite a lot of students arriving with one area of interest and developing an interest in another and swinging into that specialisation. So it's a great opportunity to, to, to make an, an important decision about the next few years. Even, even with the core modules, There'd be a mixture of lectures, kind of practical labs, tutorials, field trips. It, it's a mix. In second year, you do ecology, geology and chemistry. And then third year, you can either specialise in conservation and like marine biology, or you can kind of, you can specialise in geochemistry, energy and a bit of engineering. So it's completely up to you how you want to go down the path. One of the modules that I get to do that other science get students that don't get to do is a module called GIS. It's called Geographic Information Studies. And if you can imagine Google Maps, but a lot more in depth, it's very it's a skill set that a lot of companies want. It's used for heavily in conservation and it's nothing that any science students get to do. It's mostly social science students get to do it, but they incorporate it into ours because it's a very heavy dependent thing. It's like a skill set you need if you are studying sustainability. So in terms of work placements, we have a kind of a module that is um, an option, but we encourage all the students to, to take it up and to do an internship you know, for six to 12 weeks in the summer between their third year and their fourth year. Uh, in terms of exchange, again, that's a, there's a lot of enthusiasm for exchange programs in, in, this, in this program. So we've established new relationships specific to the program with, with institutions, high-end high institutions in Australia, uh, Spain, uh, Singapore, Mexico, the Netherlands, a, a range of different places. Sustainability is a really a growth area. There's more and more opportunities coming online in the sustainability space. And that includes both the private sector and, and the public sector and charities and NGOs. There's a real race to develop the policy and practice and frameworks to, to deliver on sustainability for society. And so, you know, there's opportunities in, in government and, and state agencies at kind of a local scale, as for example, as a biodiversity officer, they're all expanding. So I'm very interested in going into, like, how do we reuse all the materials we have, like our circular economy, recycling, waste management. That's one area I'm very interested in going into. Because I'm not in the one building and I have to walk across campus, I always bump into people I haven't seen in a while or friends, and it's always nice catching up. Otherwise, if I was in the one building every day, I might see the same people every day or not see anybody at all. And that's what I quite like about UCD and why I chose UCD, because it's a very big campus and the facilities I think are very good.